The first one we're going to taste is the Han SLH Santa Lucia Highlands Pinot Noir 2019 from, guess what, the Santa Lucia Highlands. So that is the ABA, the American Viticultural Area. And um, uh, this wine is 14.5% alcohol. For those who don't know, the Santa Lucia Highlands are kind of to the east of Monterey and a little bit south. Uh, so um, kind of hit, moving towards the Central Valley, would you, is that how yeah, you suggest? Yeah, I mean, between Monterey and the Central Valley. Yeah. Um, beautiful color, that's the first thing I noticed. Yeah, it is, it's a great color. Um, you know, deep, ruby, gorgeous, translucent. Nose. Ooh, that's a bigger nose than I would have thought. Lots of fruit. Yeah, lots of fruit. Red cherries right out of the gate. Absolutely. There's some there's some hints of, of cedar to give it that earthy tone. Certainly, and um, a little bit of cinnamon. That's that same kind of woodsy scent. Yeah, yeah. And the cinnamon gives it a little pop, which I like. Yeah. Surprisingly full in the mouth. Yeah, rich. Mm -hmm. The cherry is right as, as advertised. So, you know, I love it when there's the connection between the nose and the mouth and there's not a disconnect. So it leads with the, with the, the cherry note. Yeah, there's definitely um, that woodiness from the cedar on the mid palate as well. Mm -hmm. And I think you get a little bit of cinnamon spice that will hit mm -hmm. you were talking about on the finish. Right. It's got fine tannins. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a nicely structured wine. It's not too structured, but it's, it's, it's really fine tannins. It has that little woodiness in the center, as you were saying. Mm -hmm. Mouthfeel, rich. So this wine um, is, a, is a value at uh, $19.99 in a restaurant you may pay $45 for it. Um, what would you pair this with, Harris? Well, you know, something a little gentle, like a pork tenderloin would be really good, I think. Yeah, no, it, could, it would be great. It would be great with a pork tenderloin. So let's move on to the next wine. It's uh, uh, called Prophecy. It is a California ABA, so that means the grapes come from anywhere in California. It's a 2019 as well, 13.8% uh, alcohol. And boy, the color is deeper, huh? Yeah, it's, still nice, but yeah, definitely a, a more distinct purplish tone. Yeah, hence to, it's still translucent, still beautiful kind of Pinot Noir character to the to the um, to the color. The nose, oh, it is a uh, fruit candy. It's wow. uh, yeah, that's very fruity. It, it's even like a fruit punch. Yeah, it's almost like your Jolly Rogers red fruit. You know, red red candy. It's very candy like. Mm. Cherry candy. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of yeah combination with cherry candy and, and fruit punch. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very fruity. There's just not much else to it besides mm -hmm. fruity candy. But we'll see on the panel. Mm -hmm. Certainly delivers that fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very fruity. Um, there is sort of not maybe an herbal thing like a cherry cola. It's still it, it hints it's sweet. Yeah, it let you know it's it's got a, a, quite a finish. You know, it lasts for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, yeah, cherry cola. Um, I can't get over the sort of the fruit punch. You know, the Hawaiian fruit punch. Uh, uh, flavor. It's like, you know, this is a fruit forward wine. And its body even kind of hints at fruit juice, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly does. It's uh, got a medium mouth feel. This is a uh, 1099. Uh, you might pay 25 or $30 in a restaurant. Uh, what would you pair this with Harris? Uh, holiday ham. Yeah. Uh, that, that fruity character would go yeah. right. Great with ham. Okay. Third wine in our lineup, Castle Rock. San Benito County is the ABA, which is really a geographical ABA. But nevertheless, it's identified on the bottle as, as San Benito County. It's a 2017, so it's actually you know two years older than any other the, the other two wines that we've tasted. It's 13.9 percent alcohol, which is you know a great sweet spot for Pinot Noir. Color. Uh, well, this is the deepest of the lineup so far. The yeah. most purple for sure. Still, yeah. still red, but purple red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely dark and rich. I mean, it promises to be beautiful. The nose, 
Whoa, Whoa this is interesting. This is like the total opposite of the last one. The last one was really fruity, and this is really like what meaty. Yeah, I yeah. get like a cured meat, even even like a pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a fruit component because I mean it, it doesn't smell like you're like gonna chomp into a pepperoni. So there's a fruit note in there. I, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Like, what do you think? Maybe dried uh, cherries? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a red fruit and it's definitely um, not like a lush fruit. It's definitely kind mm. of a raisinated, I guess is the word. Yeah. 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 But not stewed, but dried, no, like but dried right. cherries. Okay. Mm. Let's go to the flavor on this one. Again, the total opposite to the prophecy, the Castle Rock is savory it is a um is an earthy um yeah it's yeah no huge umami i still get the meatiness Mm -hmm. um i don't really get a lot of fruit in the palate no not a lot of fruit there's a hint of bitterness it's not a bad bitterness though you know it, it, it um it's sort of like what you would expect if you're you know combining meat and fruit there's just a hint there um i think umami describes it as you said um it's got a medium mouth feel this wine is uh, $23.95. Uh, you might see it f- for 50 bucks in a restaurant. And uh, I don't know, what would you pair this with? Well, at first I said um, turkey chili, but mm-hmm. I'm thinking sausage and mushroom pizza now. I think that'd be really good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. With that cured meat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's left? left uh, what's left, of course, is uh, we have to throw one of ours in there. It's our th- Three Sons Cuvée. Uh, Russian River Valley, 2018. Uh, it's 14.1% alcohol. Again, right in there, that sweet spot for, you know, a well-balanced Pinot Noir. And the color, surprisingly lighter than the other ones. It is. It's got more garnet versus ruby. Ruby, I think of as deeper and darker. Garnet is still that red, but a little, just a little bit lighter and more translucent. Hmm. Wow. I know it's not really fair. Um, I don't know. Did you say the MSRP yet? I know it's not really fair to compare our wine um, against, you know, kind of the more of the bottom shelfers, the 1099, the 2599. This is double the price of the last one. Um, yeah. But it really does show. Yeah. I mean, th- this is one of those wines you get what you pay for. It, 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 it there's a, um, you know, and I don't always get this from this wine. And this is the, the beauty of, of how wines change. Mm-hmm. I get some floral notes right up front, some lilac. Um, that, I haven't had that before with this wine. But then there's that deep, dark cherry note, which comes through. And that's sort of classic with this wine. Totally. And I always feel like um, when you get floral aromas in a wine, it seems to enhance the fruit, makes it seem mm-hmm. fresher. Mm-hmm. And I definitely get that here. Um, the thing we always talk about with this wine is uh, the forest floor. Mm-hmm. which for those of you who don't know that's a burgundian note and it's meant to evoke the scent of walking through a damp forest that, that scent that comes up um, and you really do get it in the mid palate this one mm-hmm. so if that scent came up that came up had a flavor that's what that's what um it, that's what comes into your mouth too but it, the, the absolute scent is there in this and there's and, a touch of that spice as well. mm-hmm. yeah. yeah the you know cinnamon clove the christmas spices with a, a pepper as well definitely And yeah, confirmed to the palate. Great um, cherry notes. That spice comes through. That pepper certainly would finish. Yep. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Somebody walked in, <laughs> so I apologize for that. I was trying to get him to not walk in. So um, yes, the uh, there's a you know the thing about this wine that I really love is there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Mm-hmm. So it starts with the cherry moves right into that forest floor, cinnamon clove, and then um, has a black pepper finish. And, and it just doesn't stop. So this wine, as, as uh, Harris alluded, is $49. Uh, they serve it at a local restaurant here for $90 uh, by the bottle. Uh, and what would you pair this with? Hmm, uh, rack of lamb, I think. Yeah, yeah. again, highbrow wine, man's a highbrow pair. Yeah. So anyway, enjoy. I hope you enjoy these and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, see you next time.